hello good evening all today in this video we are going to discuss about how to save a many to many field value inside the setting so recently we have published a video on how to add settings for your custom module so after releasing that video so some people have asked us how to save a many to many field inside the settings so if I go to the hospital module and if I take the settings that we have already created so hospital configuration and then settings so this is the configuration so it's loading you can see so yeah it has been loaded so this is the configuration or settings for the module that we have added last week so we have here we have the option to save default node and a boolean field is added recently for installing the module from the settings so in this video i will show you how to save these many to many field value so here you can see we have we can select as many as the value we need from here but if you click on save button it won't get saved so people ask how to save many to many field value inside the settings so for making this video i have already just added a many to many field inside the settings so if the loading is completed you can see the value is not getting saved so what i have done is that so if i go to the pycharm and if i take the custom module that is om hospital so it if you haven't got this module you can just go to the Odoo app store and from the Odoo app store you can just download this module either by searching om hospital or by searching Odoo development tutorials so in the settings.py so this is the file and model you can see runs config settings so if you check here in the url you can see the model is arrows config settings so what i have done is i have added a many to many field here that is product id is equal to fields dot many to many and the core model is given as product dot product and string is given string is given as medicines as it is related with the hospital so i have just added a many to many field inside the python and in the corresponding view so if i go to the views folder and if i open settings dot xml file and here you can see where is product ID. yeah in this group so this is the group i have added which is not shown in the video i have added a div and inside the div you can see label for product ids string is given as medicines and field name is product ids is given this is the many to many field we have defined inside the python and widget many to many tags is given so let's see how we can save the value of many to many field in settings and display the selected values so first of all you know we have already explained so first of all we have in settings we have two functions that is set value and get values so set values will be used to set the entered value into the database and get value is used to fetch the value from the database and display here in the user interface so let's start from the settings sorry let's start from the set values so here you can see this is how we have saved the nodes so let's click on Control d so right now i have to save so we will save the data into model ir.config parameters using the set param method so we have to pass a value here key so i'll just pass the value as om hospital that is our module name dot product id so inside the ir.config parameter i am going to save this value that is om hospital dot product ids so to this field i have to save this value that is product ids so self dot product ids dot ids so i'm just going to save the ids of the selected products into the ir dot config parameters so this is the line we have added inside the set values self dot env ir dot config parameters dot set param this is to set the value into the corresponding model and i have given the key as om hospital dot product ids and the value is assigned as the selected ids in the self dot product ids dot ids we will get the id list of ids id of the selected product so if you just print here control c and if you print the value here print i will just give us test and if you print the value you can see this will be the ids of the selected products so let's restart the service and see what we are getting inside self dot product ids dot ids so i'll go to the settings and i'll just couple of, select a couple of products from here so i'll just instead of medicine i am just we have got the products as screw bolt etc so don't take care of that so inside the medicine i will add screw and i will just add a bolt so that's done so if i click on save button and before clicking the save button i will just go to the logs and i'll just delete everything and right now if i click on save button okay here you can see it's getting loaded so here you can see in the test so here you can see you are getting a list that is self dot product ids dot ids it's a list of ids 
so we have saved the value into the ir.config parameters but still the field seems to be empty so that's because we don't need we haven't tried the get necessary lines inside the get values to display the selected records in the ui so for that what we have to do is that we have to fetch the value that is using this key just i will copy this form hospital dot product ids and i will just give it here so from this i can fetch the values of product ids that i have already saved in the model self dot env ir dot config parameters so icp sudo is for you can, you can say icp sudo is self dot env config parameters so i'm just not going to confuse you so i'll just copy this and put it here directly so i'm fetching the value from self dot env ir dot config parameters dot sudo instead of set param i will use get param and i need the value of this field so let's see what we are getting inside the product ids so if i print the product ids here so let's see whether we get the value we have already seen so earlier when we save we are getting 47 and 46 so let's see what we are getting right now here so i'll just restart the service so right now i haven't added the code to display it so i'm just checking whether i am getting the corresponding value here so if i go to some another menu and if i come back to the configuration and if i open the settings you can see in the log so here in the log you can see you are getting same values that is 47 and 47 is you are getting in the log so now i have to update the records so i'll just control d and i have to update the field named product ids so i'll just copy the field name and i will give instead of note i have to update the product ids so i cannot give directly the product ids because as it is a mini to mini field i have to enter the value like 6 comma 0 then list of ids so this has to be given suppose if you give like this definitely you will get an error message so let's see what happens so i'll just check inside the code Control shift f if i just remove this okay you can see if i search existing code you can see six comma yeah two brackets are necessary because so let's give two brackets i think it's necessary so let's see whether it's work or not so i think we will get an error here so i'll just restart the service once more right now i have restarted the service and if i reload the screen again okay i'm just re reload the screen and let's see what we are getting inside the log or if i go to the ui it's still loading so let's wait until the loading has been completed so it's still loading okay loading loading yeah but there is no error and we are not getting any values so there is some issue so if i check the log it has been code printed but we didn't get anything in the view and there is no error message so let's try once more so i'll just reload the screen once more and see what happens loading yeah right now we have got the value but it's only a single value but we have already said yeah you are getting an error message too that is invalid input syntax that's why you have to convert this first of all so i'll just import one thing from ast so in the import section from ast import literal eval that is a function i'll just import this control c i'll copy the literal eval and i will use it here with the product ids literal eval control v and i will just give it here so let's see what happens right now so already we have selected two products but we are only getting one so i'll just restart the service once again so run all the so let's see what happens right now so i'll just add two more products here that is still you are getting an error so i'll just do one thing i'll just update the module once more so i'll just go to the audio apps menu and i'll just update upgrade the module from here Okay, you can see the module is getting upgraded so what we have done is product id is equal to 6 comma 0 literal value of product id is, is given so the still module is still getting loading so let's wait until the module has got successfully upgraded 
so loading so if you check the log you can see creating or updating updating database tables i think it won't get completed so i'll just restart the service forcefully i'll just stop the service and i'll just restart it again okay the service is getting restarted now i'll go to the ui and i'll just upgrade the module once more by clicking the upgrade button so let's wait for a few times you can see the module is getting upgraded so if i go to the ui and let's wait okay you can see you are back online loading om hospital yeah different files of this corresponding module is getting loaded settings.xml is loaded now if i go to the ui and let it complete okay it's done now i'll go to the sick hospital and then to the settings configuration settings still you are getting an error so let's see what is the unhashable type list so you are getting the error from i think it has to be given like this mistake in the format that I have given I'll just reload it once more there is no need to upgrade the module just I'll just restart the service and if you take the settings again configuration settings it's loading hope there is no error so right now we are getting two values and if I choose one more value that is free delivery charges and if I click on save button you can see it's getting loading the screen will reload right now we have saved three values and after the sc screen loading you can see three values is coming suppose if i need to remove one value that is suppose i need to remove screw i'll just remove it and if i click on save button okay i have removed screw from the medicines and i have just click on save button and you can see it's getting loading okay it's still loading Okay, you have, right now you have got two menus. Suppose if you need to save more values like white pen and if you need to add more values like the post. Okay, right now we have four values in the many to many field and I'll just click on save button. Yeah, you can see. Let's wait until the loading is completed. So if you haven't subscribed to the channel, you can just subscribe to the channel and like the video if you feel the videos are helpful for you. So you can see four values are saved and suppose if you need to remove all the values, you can just click on the cross mark and remove all the values. Okay, and if you click on save button, it will get lowered once again. So that's all about how you can save the many to many field value inside the settings. So we have made this video again because we have some people requested us over the mail like how to save many to many field value inside the settings and they have asked for making a video that's why we have created a video so like that if you have any such requirement you can just send to us like please make a video on that topic etc so we will make once we have time we will make accordingly so this is all about how to save many to many field value inside the settings so first of all what you have to do is that you have to define a many to many field inside the rest config settings so here you can see product ids is a many to many field of com model product dot product and string is given as medicines so inside the set values function we will set the value we will save the value into the model ir dot config parameters like this self dot env ir dot config parameters set param and you have to give a key so i have given the key as module name dot field name that is om hospital dot product ids and i have given the values like self dot product ids dot ids which is the list of list of ids of selected product and inside the get value function i am fetching the value from ir.config parameter model by calling get param and i have just passed the key that i have set here on hospital.productids so once i fetch the value from here i will get the values as a string but we don't need as a string we have to convert it to a list so for converting it to a list i have just used the literal value so if you just if you enter uh, type if you check the type of product ids here so i'll just copy Control x and if i print the type of product ids which we are fetching from the ir config parameters you can see that it will be a string so i'll just restart the service 
and if I reload this screen you can see the product IDs will be a string type of string so right now we haven't got any saved any values inside the medicines field so you can see its class is str that is string so if I save few more values here that if I can save white pen and screw inside the medicines field and if I click on save button and if you wait so if I go to the log you can see it will be of type str so we have to convert this str into the list so we have used literal eval so you can see the change suppose if I use literal eval here along with the product IDs and if I print the type of the literal eval of product IDs you will get it as a string so I have restarted the service again and if I reload the screen you can see the coming what let's see to see what the type is printing so in the product IDs I have printed type of literal eval so here you can see its class list so we are using literal eval to convert the str to list so that it will get visible so this is all about also don't forget to import from ast import literal eval so this is all about how you can save the many to many field values inside the settings so if you like the video please like the video and subscribe the channel to get notified regarding all the upcoming videos and if you feel the channel is helpful for auto developers and your friends you can suggest the channel to your friends so that's it for this video hope we will come back with a new video soon thank you